Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is by you. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. I am very excited to be back with y'all again this week. Uh, y'all know it's my favorite day of the week, getting to chit chat with everybody and hang out and have a good time. Um, so say hi, tell me what you're working on, tell me what your weekend plans are. Loop me in. What's going on? What's going on? Um, I'm super pumped for the new fabrics that I have for you today. I have some new fabric types that we haven't been carrying lately, and I'm super pumped to share them with you. I have some beautiful summery fabrics. It is, I mean, it's mid-July, and I, it's, yeah, I'm going to say mid. The ninth is kind of mid. And I'm so excited to still be summer sewing. Is everyone else summer sewing? What are you making? What's going on? I have no idea if my um, comments are working. My sister is texting me about the live, Vicky. I don't know why there's no link. Um, <laughs> let me see if comments are working. So if you'll say hi to me so I can know that you're here and that it's working, that would be great. I'm just going to pull it up on my phone and double check. Hi, Sarah, you're here. Thank you. It's working. It's working. Excellent. Um, I have some very beautiful fabrics to share with y'all today. Um, I'm pretty excited about them. I, yeah, I'm pretty excited about them. So tell me what, what you're doing. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me what you're working on. What's on your sewing table? What's your weekend looking like? Hi, Vicki. <laughs> what is going on with all of my favorite Foxy people? I am um, pretty excited. I'm doing a spa day tomorrow. So I'm doing like a facial and a massage and oh, it's going to be such a relaxing, amazing day. And I get to hang out with some people from a sewing guild here in Georgia um, for a little bit first and talk fabric and hang out. And I'm really excited as well to chat fabric and meet some sewing people because y'all are the best people. Um, so it's going to be a good weekend, I think. A really good Saturday at the very least. A very good Saturday. Um, <laughs> thanks, Vicky. Um, so do y'all want me to dive right in? I suppose I could just get, get started. Ooh, I always love the second make of something because it goes a little bit smoother, a little bit faster. And if you're making it a second time, it's because you really liked it the first time, um, which is always, always exciting. Good morning, CJ. Good morning. <sighs> I'm feeling really casually relaxed this morning. So just kind of easing into this, but I suppose I could show y'all. This first, I've got a Swiss dot knit fabric for you this morning um, to start us off. And I have to tell y'all, this is so beautiful. Um, this is actually a different weight knit fabric than our other Swiss dots are. Um, so it's a little bit thicker. It's actually 230 GSM. And it's a poly rayon blend. Um, so it's a little bit heavier. It's not see-through at all. And I love it it's so soft that rayon really brings the softness and this beautiful lavender is just a stunning color i'm completely obsessed with it uh it's perfect for summertime um i just it's it's almost like a frosted purple it's so beautiful um so it's got 25 percent horizontal stretch and just 10 percent vertical it's pretty stable vertically but it's so beautiful um it's definitely a lavender um it's not quite our orchid. It's not quite that vibrant or pink. Um, it's, it's a true, very beautiful, bright lavender. Um, and I am obsessed with it. It's coming through pretty accurately on my end. Um, so I hope that it is on cell phones as well. I know that phones and desktops tend to have slightly different colorations. Um, but check the website as soon as we make them live. And uh, the color will be very, very clear for you there. But just a beautiful lavender Swiss dot knit. Um, I think I need a summer dress out of this. It's so beautiful. And it's such a great weight. Um, that 230 GSM really takes it um up in in versatility. Really can make just about anything out of it, which is super fun. I think I need some some shorts out of this. I think some shorts would be really beautiful out of this. So oh look, y'all, that's my mom right there. Eileen, that's my mom, y'all. Oh, it's a family affair today. <laughs> Um, so next up, I have a couple of stretch laces for you this week. Uh, I love, love, love sewing with stretch lace, especially in the summertime. Although I like sewing with it all year. 
Uh, but this beautiful stretch lace makes me so happy. I'm struggling to pick it up. Um, <laughs> so we have this aqua dot stretch lace. So it's this beautiful kind of really classic rose lace. Um, and then it's got these gorgeous aqua dots to it, which is just so fun and beautiful. And this is so soft. This is, um, you can see that, um, that mesh in the middle and it's as soft as our other stretch meshes are. So it's so soft and lovely. And I just, I'm obsessed with it a little bit. Y'all know aqua is one of my favorite colors. So, you know, I'm a little obsessed with it. Um, so this is a poly spandex blend. It's 120 GSM. So it's pretty lightweight. No surprise there with you know, lace. Um, it's just got 10% horizontal stretch and then it actually has 25% vertical. So it's a little bit more stretchy vertically than, um, horizontally. Hi, Stephanie. So glad you could join us. I just, I love this. I'm going to come a little closer so you can really see those dots in there. Um, it's just, it's just kind of sweet and summery and beautiful. And if you'd like a double brush poly coordinate for that, we have white, and sea foam. You all know I love anything with sea foam in it. Um, so the white and the sea foam are going to be your two um, double brush poly coordinates on that one. Absolutely love it. Oh, hi, Ruth. So glad you could join us. Um, completely obsessed with this lace. I need to make several somethings, I think, out of it. <laughs> um, and I have one more lace for you today. But I should have called this a dots reveal because this one is also dots. So this is um, a black dot stretch lace. So this I think is a little bit more grown up, maybe a little bit more adult, um, but it's so beautiful. It's black, it's it's black, it's beautiful. It's got these beautiful tiny, tiny little dots. Um, obviously it's a really great, basically stretch mesh, um, but with dots on it, kind of a Swiss dot stretch mesh. Um, mashup which is really wonderful um for laces stephanie um nope cj really sorry um for use for laces i really like anything from like a sheer shirt that i would make a tank to go underneath to a swim cover-up a cardigan some evening wear some lingerie of some kind um underpants always really fun but this black yes alexandria the sleeves on a sweetheart neckline would be so beautiful with this and it's stretchy so um let me give you the stats on this before i forget it's a nylon spandex blend um which is also means that it's good for swim if y'all are interested in some swim lace uh it's 50 gsm so it's super lightweight super super lightweight it's got 25 percent horizontal stretch and 50 percent vertical you can't really see that let's there we go um Oh, so it has so many beautiful uses. You could use it in athletic wear um, as your lace accents or in beautiful dresses. And you could make a beautiful hat with the, the veil, the veil guy. That'd be really lovely. It's very pinup girl. Um, it's, it's so beautiful and it's so soft. It's, I, I wish you could feel this through my camera because it's so soft. It's going to feel amazing against your skin. Um, and make you feel amazing, I think. So that is our black dot stretch lace. I love it so much. I love it so much. Uh, so that's all the lace I have for you today. But y'all know what we brought back this week? Rayon spandex. So I have this beautiful spring green rayon spandex, which is kind of a tone brighter than Kelly green. It's reading very Kelly on my screen, but it is just a smidge brighter than that. A little bit more pop that beautiful spring just after a rain kind of green. Um, oh, Stephanie, I'm so glad. Yes, it's so soft. It's it's the softest stretch mesh I think I've ever touched. Um, so spring green rayon spandex. This is a rayon spandex blend. It's 97 rayon, three spandex. It's 150 GSM, so it's a really great lightweight, um, but great for tops and things like that. Okay, a batwing top over a pretty cami has just killed it and now I need to make that that would be beautiful and comfortable and and lovely um let's see so 150 gsm it's got a hundred percent horizontal stretch um and 10 percent vertical so it's fairly stable vertically and this green is just stunning y'all know I'm a sucker for green I mean look at my eyes with this green <laughs> so it's just quite beautiful and um 
lovely. It's, it's ran spandex, so it's a little bit trickier to work with than, say, a double brush poly, just because it is going to roll around a little bit. But at 150 GSM, it's not too, it's not too frustrating to work with. Um, and I'm going to slightly set this aside to show you the next one because I think they look really cute together. Um, so I have another rayon spandex for you. Let me scroll on my document so I don't get lost. So we have this beautiful coral breeze rayon spandex and it's just a beautiful, lovely rayon spandex. It's so beautiful. I love it. Um, this is a 95 five ran spandex blend it's 170 gsm so it's just a little bit heavier weight than the solid um it has 75 percent horizontal stretch and 10 percent vertical and i do want to show you this with the green the green is not an exact match um, but it sure looks good to me um, together it pulls out the two greens. There's two different greens in this leaf, and I think that they look just lovely together. So if you're looking for a rayon spandex, these two look really good together. But oops, I knocked down a box. <laughs> but I do have the usual double brush poly coordinates to share with you as well. Um, this background is it's halfway between white and ivory, but it is definitely closer to white. And I did not pull the ivory to show you. I'm so very sorry. Um, but it is, it's about halfway between white and ivory. So I think you get away with either, but here's white and then the flowers are coral. So this is our beautiful coral double brush poly. Oh, and they look so lovely, but then the little center baby dots in the middle, which let me come a little closer to show you the little dots in the middle there. Oh, that's perfect. I have two different reds in them. And one of them is lipstick red. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Um, and the other is Cabernet. So if you'd like to go a little bit darker as a coordinate on that, you've got some options. And then the greens are Olive and Vintage Sage. So you've got some really beautiful choices to match and coordinate on that from our Double Brush Poly Salads collection. And I will show that a little bit closer so y'all can really see those florals. Um, while I'm standing still and maybe not moving so much. Um, they're just really lovely. They're simple. They're beautiful. Um, definitely sweet. Definitely a very sweet fabric. And I just love it. Just love it. So I'm super excited to have some rayon spandex back in the shop. It's such a great fabric for summertime. It's so soft and lovely. And <sighs> we also are restocking some athletic knits. So I have some really wonderful, this bright sky blue athletic knit for summertime. Um, it's a performance nylon spandex blend. So it's really, oh, it's so soft and beautiful. Um, it's 265 GSM. So it's a great weight. It's not going to go see through on you. You can't see my dark shirt through this, um, which is just lovely. And it's so soft because it's that nylon spandex blend. It's so soft. Um, it is intended for athletic knit, but because it is a nylon spandex blend, you could use it for swim. Um, it's going to be moisture wicking. It's going to be so comfortable to wear. It has 75% horizontal stretch and 100% vertical stretch. Um, and it's the recovery on it is also wonderful. It's just wonderful. Um, just, I love a good athletic knit. I love a, a, the nice weight of a really heavy duty athletic knit. Um, and it, this makes me want to color block some great bottoms and make a cute little matching top of some kind. Um, but the sky blue is just such a happy summer color, right? So super in love with this one. And because we can't stock athletic knits without stocking the classic black, because we all just love our black leggings, right? Not only did we restock some black athletic knit, but this is high compression athletic knit. So this is a performance nylon spandex blend. This has 20% spandex in it. So it's crazy compression. Um, this is also 350 GSM. So it's very heavy duty. It's like, there's, there's, you can stretch it all the way and you're just starting to see the light when it's at its maximum stretch. Um, and that is, 75%. Um, so it's really, really quite stretchy. So if you're making um, like the peg legs, which require 50% stretch, you're not going to, that's going to pass your, your squat test. Um, and for compression, if you're looking to make 
anything compression, um, anything comfortable in compression, if you're looking for shapewear or um, you want to do that high-waisted uh, legging to get that tummy control, this is going to be a really great option for you. Um, it also does have 100% Again, you can't quite see it. 100% vertical stretch. So it's super stretchy. Great recovery. Oh, it would be perfect for a bodysuit. And 350, I think, is my favorite weight for leggings. I always feel a little bit sucked in and very, very comfortable doing whatever I need to do in public, from walking around or shopping and squatting to look at things on shelves. I know nobody's going to see anything that's underneath this because it's really weighty and 20 percent um spandex really means that it's coming right back and it's hugging really lightly um cj what i would suggest is your sizing could be exactly the same um but do a uh, muslin you're going to want to check and see what you're comfortable with um, because of that stretch you should be just fine but it might not be to your comfort if you don't like as much compression um, i always always recommend doing a muslin when you're working with a new fabric even if you just make some shorties um, just to see how you feel about it where it's going to be most compressing so that is our black high compression athletic knit and it's such a beautiful black it's it's rich it comes through a little bit navy which is perfect on screen because it should um, those true blacks read a little bit navy and navies tend to read a little bit true black so oh, it's just beautiful and perfect and so soft and i need to make some new leggings i'm ready i'm ready for some new ones Oh, that's all the fabric I have for you today. Um, I do have a winner for last week's um, fabric. So Gwen Moore, I'm pretty sure I feel confident saying that one. You are a winner for last week's um, Reveal Booty. If you would email us at info at slyfoxfabrics.com to go ahead and claim that prize. We'll get that sent out to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really helpful to have a bralette pattern that will keep your boobs a little separate um it's not fun to have i don't i don't personally love the comfort of the the squished uniboob um but hey to each their own whatever you're comfortable with um and don't forget that every comment this week enters you to win this week's reveal booty which is just a beautiful mix of fabrics um i feel like i need to mix and match my um, the high compression with the dots, the stretch lace dots and make something lovely to work out in since they're both nylon. Um, so congratulations to Gwen. Um, Sarah will be getting those, uh, those listings live here shortly on the site. We will post when they are live and ready. Um, and comment all week to, to enter to win this week's reveal booty. And uh, it was really fun hanging out with y'all. If you have any questions, please, please post in the group. Send us an email. We're always happy to answer whatever questions we can. And I will be back with you next Friday with more new fabrics, more beautiful summery fabrics. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great weekend. And I'll catch y'all next week.